This video is sponsored by pickbest.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, we will be creating this kind of a bulgy looking typography animation inside of After Effects and it's going to be super cool and it's very easy to create. We will be creating this using some very simple techniques built in effects in inside of after effects so now before we start with this tutorial if you're watching my video for the very first time then please do consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then hit that like button and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video so with that said let's jump into after effects and get started Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 2000 by 2000, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Then let's create a new composition, which is going to be our text placeholder. So I'm going to create a new comp. And this time the width is going to be 1700 and the height is going to be 1400. Let's call this text hit ok then i'm going to select my text tool and for the font i will be using babel's new pro bold you can use of course any font that you like so i'm going to type in just like the example burst toast all right i'm going to make this all caps and align this into the center let's increase the size to around 900 that should be good again align this properly now just to make the look even more cooler i'm going to turn the second text into only stroke so i can click on this small icon that you see right over here so it's going to help us to switch to only strokes and i have set the stroke to eight pixels so that is looking pretty nice let's create one more new comp this is going to be 2000 by 2000 and i'm going to call this um pattern all right let's drag and drop in the text composition right over here and simply i will be animating this using the motion tile effect so i'm going to go into effects and presets search for motion tile and then i can increase the output height like so so let's set this to around 1000 or something now you can see there is a lot of spacing in between these two texts so to fix this i can just go right here and hit ctrl k to bring up the comp size and let's set the uh, height actually to 1300 instead of 1400 but that's fine for now and i can bring down the size just like so so now if i go back into my pattern comp this is looking much better i think i will increase the i will bring down the spacing line spacing of the text a little bit so something like that okay so now if i go back into my pattern comp everything is properly aligned into the center so now i can go ahead and animate this like so all right so i'm going to create a keyframe at the very start and then let's go all the way up to 10 seconds let's drag this so you know let's see what we get if i preview this we have a pretty nice animation i think i'm going to keep it a bit more fast so i'll increase this all right, so this is looking pretty nice. Now let's go back into our main render comp actually and drag and drop the pattern composition. I can also hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. And I'm gonna make this obviously a nice black color. So that is looking good. Now I'm gonna select the pattern composition, go into effects and preset and look for a very cool effect called Bezier Warp. There we go. Let's double click to apply that. And you can see here we have a few handles. This works the same way like we get the Bezier tool in Photoshop, the warp tool. So what I'm going to do is bring down the handle and create kind of a um, really interesting looks. So I can bring them down first of all like so. This one as well. And 
this one as well so it looks kind of a four corner star but now what i'm going to do is stretch a few things so in order to make this really cool i can drag this point like so so you can see we get a stretch right over here so to enhance it i'll stretch this out a little bit more and we bring that out a little bit and this one out a little bit so we have just a stretch in this particular section and then let's go into fix and preset and search for an effect called optics compensation let's double click to apply this and now if i increase this you can see we get a really cool look so if i set this to full you can see we get a really really interesting look you can always play around with the bezier warp you can increase the intensity to you know make it look a bit more inflated and that would look really really cool now let's increase the quality to 10 and what i'm going to do is use a very simple wiggle expression so in order to you know keep the tangents moving so i can hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the tangent let's type in wiggle open and close parentheses and let's go with 2 comma 30 that should be good enough and then i can simply copy this wiggle expression so hit control c to copy it and then hold alt and click on this one hit control v to paste it and basically we have to paste this expression on all the tangents so i'm going to hold alt and just go ahead and copy paste this and on all the tangents and now if i preview this you can see we get this really interesting wiggle effect it looks like they are squashing and stretching at the same time which makes the complete look really really cool and now in order to scale this i can just simply uh, select the layer go into effects and preset type in transform and let's add the transform effect unlink the scale and let's stretch this so it fits the composition so i'm going to just stretch this out like so and let's stretch this out like so now if i set this to full you can see we get a really really interesting look now it's a bit intense on the system so i can set this to maybe half and let's preview this and as you can see it looks super super cool now this is just the technique but you can use it in your own cool ways you know you can maybe increase the wiggle expression you can change the way the tangents move so you can add your own unique style to it but you, one thing that i like to add on this effect is some chromatic aberration or some glitchy look now before I proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you guys about today's sponsor PicBest. PicBest is a digital marketplace from where you can download high quality video templates, stock footages, design elements, multimedia templates, graphics, stock images, music and so much more. All the templates on this website are premium and created by professional graphic and motion designers. Now the best part about the website is their subscription service. So you can pay a monthly fee of 9.9 .9 USD and download all the assets for personal and commercial use. Basically you get unlimited downloads. Then they have the $49 lifetime premium plan which is super amazing because you pay a one time fee of 49 bucks and you get a lifetime access to all the assets on their website. And thirdly is the one year premium plan in which you pay per year that is $29 per year and then you can get unlimited downloads and everything is free for personal as well as commercial use for more information check out the link in the description below so in order to do that i'm going to select this composition hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and let's click on move all attributes let's call this animation all right and then go into fix and preset and type in shift channels double click to apply that up and let's set the green and blue channel to full off just like so hit ctrl d select the second one set this to green set the red to full off hit ctrl d again select the third one set the green to full off and just turn on the blue channels then select these two layers and change the blending mode of this to add and then i'm going to move every layer by one frame so i can just simply move this and move this one and now you can see we get a little bit of chromatic aberration around the edges which look which looks um really cool i think and it sells the complete effect i can set this to full so you can get a 
nice look you can see it looks super super cool and boom there we have a really bulgy typographic animation and it, and it looks cool in itself i think you can also use some colors to this so if i want i can go into the text i can select maybe the burst text and make it a different color so i can make this something like a nice pinkish red color and let's see so yeah and also change the color of this one so let's make this um yellow and boom we get a really cool look so all in all the idea here is to create a very interesting looking typography using some very simple effects inside of after effects so i hope you guys enjoyed this technique make sure you try it out experiment with this and come up with some really cool animation and if you upload it on instagram then do tag me my instagram handle is dope.motions you can follow me there we are very close on hitting that 100,000 followers on instagram so make sure you check it out and yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel so i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out